Yo, what up guys? I uh, just picked up a new Native Instruments contact keyboard and just want to do an open box to show you guys um, what's inside and maybe give you a quick little review about it. Um, so the box came right here. Just came from Sweetwater. Pretty excited. Almost bought the older model, but um, I was, I'm glad I waited. Okay, I was wondering about the keys. That's not too bad at all. I was definitely thinking um, the last one, I definitely did not like the keys. They said that when I called Sweetwater that the um, keys, they made them with a uh, different, I don't know, a little bit heavier hammer type, which I like. Um, the other ones just felt so fake, but those are nice. Cool. All right, let's plug this thing in and try it out. Oh, also, in here, I didn't see this before, there's like this little thing was tucked away, right in here, you can't see it, but it's in like a little side pouch in there, I'm guessing this is all like software license stuff maybe. Yep. Cool. So yeah, no power cable. Also comes with some sweet looking stickers. Look at that. Nice guy. Alright, so <clears throat> one little thing I noticed is that kind of a bummer. This key is higher than all the other ones, so I gotta call them to see if they can figure that out. Um, cool, put my product registration in. Supposedly this is kind of neat. Shows you um, what contact products you already have when we I installed this new Native Access, and then updates, and then not installed. So um, the only thing that's kind of weird is that I'm supposed to get Native Instruments Select. So I'm not really sure. I already added a serial, and it went taking me back to this. So oh, it's telling me to check my email. Oh, well, that's what you get for not reading. It just appeared. Nice. Well, I had to enter the serial in twice, and then it finally gave me all these, so let's just click install all these first. That way we can play with the keyboard. Look at that beauty. Anyways, uh, first one came in, was messed up, so I sent it back. So now we're gonna fire this bad boy up. And... All right, we're gonna turn this thing on at night, cause that's when I produce music. Let's see what she looks like. Wow. That's cool. Everything definitely seems pretty solid. Now I know nothing about this thing. And um, I opened a session of Pro Tools and I found the complete control keyboard. Now let's see how long this takes me to figure out on how to 
go through the menu here and um, that's cool it shows a firmware plug in browser so far I cannot figure out how to do anything on this keyboard so instance nope let's do this yep so it may take me a second to um, figure this thing out alright so we have an instance of serum loaded up just to see if the MIDI controller works because uh, I know nothing about what's going on. It's been a few minutes, I've been looking at some things, and no sound. So it's probably going to be a long night of looking through tutorials. And... Okay, I went back and reread, and it said to open it up as a standalone, um, completely free from any host, and then start it. So that's what we're going to do. Now it's updating the library and scanning. That's probably why. I was like, ding dong! And I just opened Pro Tools, but it did work. So I'm trying to get the whole complete experience. And yay, manuals. All right, so last thing I'm going to end the video with um, open up the complete controller standalone. Notice how if this little dude is selected, and I figured this out, you'll see nothing up here, right? just nothing so at one point I don't know if this matters because whenever you you open this up it actually um, scans all the plugins but earlier I had went in and went to um, edit preferences um, you want to check your drivers I went to MIDI and these were unenabled but I enabled them um, what is it general no, plugins uh, I did like a scan right here, but I don't think you have to do it. It may be just good to help. Anyways, so once you click on this little dude, this little guy right here, you'll have all these instruments load up. And then, voila, you get all your stuff um, up here. So... Earlier I had sound and I don't know where it went now. But um yeah, I'll probably so you can kind of move through some of these and then you hit this one to load it. There we go. And then now you have massive. So that's cool, and then when you just go back to the browser, and you can choose, I don't know, something different. And then it shows up here. So you can also click on stuff in here too, but um, I don't know. So anyways, you'll go to um, Native Instruments or Native Access first. Get that, did all these, register at Serial, load them, complete controller next. And then this will scan all your plugins, give you a bunch of errors and whatever. And then we'll do um, Pro Tools. And cool. And uh, I'm sure I. Get to read more of the manual. Anyways, there we go. It says under plugin, I guess. No, oh, there it is. I guess it took it a second to load. Sweet. Anyways, make another video maybe tomorrow. I'm a complete newbie. Yes. This stuff is comp this right here is new to me. This whole contact controller or complete controller. 
Anyways, peace out.